Um, I have Google Analytics installed on this blog the exact same way that I just showed you how to do it on the How to Blog website. And so this right here, um, this is basically what happens when I click on Report. And so by default, Google Analytics is going to automatically bring you to the dashboard. And what it shows you right here in the chart is it shows you a snapshot of the last month. So this is a last month month's worth of traffic on this site. So it gives you a visual representation here with the graph. It shows you some general site usage statistics. So there have been 39,000 visits, 51,000 page views, which equates to 1.31 pages per visit. Um, the bounce rate is the number of people who come to one page and then leave to go to another uh, uh, website. So that's at 83%. The average time on site is a minute, 12 seconds. I'm not always, I'm not really that confident in this number because um, I'm not exactly sure how they calculate it. And it, it very rarely seems to be precise. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. And then 66.22% of the people who have come in the last month are new visitors, which means that about 33% of the people are repeat visitors. Okay, so these are just general overview statistics. We can see here our visitors overview. And you can kind of see, you know, what this graph tells you is that, you know, typically Tuesdays are big days, you know, and it drops off a little bit and then kind of goes up. And the reason that is, you know, for fantasy football, Tuesday is a big day when people are searching for uh, people that they want on their waiver wire and they're looking for information for the next week. And typically your website will fall into some sort of a general pattern like this. And so with my site, it's, you know, it's up on Tuesday and in the middle of the week, you can see here, there are actually a lot of visitors on a Wednesday and then it fades as the week goes on and then back up and you'll see that pretty consistently. Um, and so just being able to take a look and you can actually view this over time if you want to. So let's say that's how it's been for this month. And I want to see how it's been for the last, let's say three months. So what you do is you click on that arrow right there and then you can move backwards. So I'm going to go from August. I only I have less than three months of data on this site because it just started. It's a new site. And so you can actually see here that there was no data here, but it's pretty much always followed that same general pattern. And obviously, this was our biggest week right here, but it's followed that same general pattern. And so, you know, on Midwest Sports Fans, a site which I've had for over two years, I can actually go back to two years worth of data and look at the chart and see how the trends have been, how, how traffic has typically looked. Okay, we've got a map overlay, we've got our traffic sources, and we've got our content overview. And we're going to drill down a little bit more into each one of these. So let's look first at the content overview. Okay, so we're going to view the report. And what this shows us is what are the most popular posts on the site. Okay, and let me change. Let's go just from the 1st of September to October 22nd. So we're going to look at basically the last two months. Okay, and so we pretty much, that accounts for pretty much all the page views. And so this just shows us again, you know, the total number of page views, the unique page views, um, and then the bounce rate. And if we go here to view the full report, this is going to show us now the most popular post. So this post here that I did in September, because you can see the month, uh, the week two stardom sit -em post, had over 5,000 views. It was the most viewed article on the site. And so it gives you how many page views, how many unique page views. So actually, almost 400 of those people viewed the article twice. You can see the average time on page. The average visitor actually spent six minutes on that page. So that tells you that they're reading it, right? I mean, this is, here, I'm going to open up this page a little bit. So if we go in here, we can look at this page specifically, and then we can actually visit it. So if you look at this page, I mean, it's a pretty big piece of content. You know, for someone to actually read the entire article, it would take them a little bit of time, as you will see when this opens. So as we scroll down here, there's a lot there. I mean, there's a video on there. There's a lot of content here, right? I mean, you can see I'm still scrolling. So if I were to look at this, and it said that the average time on page was 30 seconds, I'd have a pretty good idea that people aren't really looking at the page. But instead, it's six minutes, so I know that they're reading it, and that's a good thing. Okay, so let's go back here to the content overview. And as you can see, you know, a lot of these numbers are good. Six minutes, five and a half minutes. You know, this is the home page. Whenever you see just the slash, that means it's the home page. So people are spending a minute 24 on the home page. That's what you would expect, because the home page is basically just trying to link people to other articles. I'm actually surprised they spend that much time on there. Okay. Um, and then you can also see the bounce rate, um, which again means that, you know, if you look at this, a lot of people came, 
to this week two article, most of the people are going to come from the search engines. And so if you actually click on the article, you can go here and look at entrance sources, and it'll tell you where people are coming from. And so people are coming from two places. They're either being referred from MidwestSportsFans.com, where I repost these articles because I have more traffic over there, or they're coming from search engines like Google and Yahoo and Bing. Okay? And so what we would expect then is a decently high bounce rate because people are coming. They're coming for something very specific, and then they're moving on to something else, which is fine. They're coming for this week two information. Well, that's why when you look at this bounce rate, that is why the bounce rate for the individual articles is higher, but the bounce rate for the homepage is 30%. So when people come to the homepage, 70% of the time, they're actually clicking on an article, which is good, and that's what we want. Okay? So kind of showed you a little bit there about, and you can actually expand this. So there's only 10 listed there, but you can list up to 500 different pieces of content, and it'll just give you an idea of, you know, if you want to see, hey, which content is doing the best, this is the, this is the place where you come to. Okay? Now, I showed you how you look at traffic to that one individual um, piece of content. But let's look at traffic sources overall. So if we click over here on traffic sources, this is going to show us since September 1st where our traffic is coming from. And so we can see that this chart gives us our breakdown. So referring sites, and typically that's Midwest sports fans, you can see that Midwest sports fans is sending 22,000 visitors. So those are people coming from the regular Midwest sports fan site to the fantasy site. Okay, and then Google has sent us 18,000 visitors. And so you can kind of see this in chart form. You know, the referring sites and the search engines are about even, and then you've got direct traffic and then just other random traffic. And so we can open this report up, and this is the full report of all the traffic sources. So we've got Midwest sports fans, and then we've got Google and Yahoo. Um, I'm a very active user on Reddit, and so that drives a lot of traffic from the fantasy football community there. Then we've got direct, which is people who have it bookmarked, um, or people who just know about the site and go there. And then we've got Bing. Um, and then our Twitter feed, which, you know, we uh, auto-tweet every post. That goes there. So you can see, and it goes down in all these little, you know, different places that bring in traffic. You know, Dallas sports fans brought in 19. And from Facebook, we have this much. So, so you can kind of see, and it goes all the way down. I mean, you can see every single place that has driven you traffic, which is good. But, you know, you want to take a look up here, and, and it allows you to make some decisions about, you know, where's the good traffic coming from. So, you know, like, for instance, if we look at the difference between Midwest sports fans and Google traffic, well, people are spending, you know, point, you know going to 0.16 more pages each visit. They're spending a little bit more time on the site, right? And, again, this is where you see this average time on site is a minute, eight seconds. But when we look at the actual content of each page, did you see how high the numbers were? This is why I don't really trust those numbers that much. You know, six minutes, right? Let's go back up here at the top, sorry. Six minutes, five minutes, six minutes, five minutes, six minutes. So the highest posts are all being viewed four, five, six minutes, and yet it says average time on site is a minute and some. So that doesn't really make sense. I've never really understood it, but, you know, that's why I don't really look at that overall time on site number. I look by post. So... Those are our traffic sources. Now, we can also see which keywords are coming in. And this can be very valuable as you strategize for the search engines. So if we click on keywords now, we can see over the last two months which keywords have driven the most traffic. So Stardom Sidem Week 2, 448 people found the Midwest Sports Fans Fantasy site by this. And, of course, that was the number one ranked post. Ryan Grant injury update, that drove 400 visitors. General fantasy football stardom set them. Yada, yada. So we can go all the way down the line and we can see. So if I'm looking at this, I can make decisions and say, okay, every week I need to be optimizing a stardom sit em post with the week. Because look at this. Stardom sit em week two. Stardom sit em week five. Right? Week two, stardom sit em. Week six, start sit. You can see how those tend to typically pop up over and over again in the stats, right? What else tends to pop up? Well, when you put in, you know, for injury, so Ryan Grant injury update, Ryan Grant injury. So when guys get injured, sometimes that can drive big bumps, right? And then individual players. So this, when you analyze this, this can give you an idea of what's working and maybe what's not. Maybe you optimize the post for, you know, XYZ keyword. Like for instance, you know, I do a rankings post. Well, I don't see week two rankings up here at the top anywhere, right? So either I'm not optimizing it right. You know, here, it comes up for the first time, week five rankings. 
So then maybe I need to go look at the search volume and say, is there just not the search volume? Am I not optimizing it enough? Yada, yada. I mean, I could sit here and we could spend 45 minutes just talking about the kinds of questions that you can ask and the answers that you can get from looking at your keywords for search. But the key is to just be able to, to come in here and, and do it, to look, at, look for keywords, right? To, to look at where the traffic is coming from, okay? So that's keywords.